So you want to start with what? The biggest challenge to uh, uh, trying to initiate a program like this is time. Is that what you need at the You have to try to build in time. And it's, it's our most precious commodity in a, in a school. And you just have to work around things. Um, sometimes you have to maybe hire a day of substitutes to cover for these teachers so they can do some planning and some work together. Support would have to come from staff, and we, it would be staff buy-in. I need their support when I change up a program a bit. I don't think I'm going to have too much trouble with that because they've, se they've seen this very successful program modeled by some of the very best teachers in the building. So they want to do the same thing. They want to have equal success. Then I just need to figure out times to give them for planning. We're all really interested in giving it to everybody. We're trying to figure out how we can kind of do it in a um, teacher-driven PLC type of model rather than a top-down do this or else type of model. We're probably going to form some PLCs and by content area is what we were thinking so far. Um, we already have built-in time to meet with that group anyway. So I, I do science for example and we meet twice a month to discuss science things but sometimes we don't have much to talk about. But um, I think if we have that as our PLC for formative assessment as well then well, you know we can do that work at that time. The biggest setbacks we encounter are not um, being able to meet with each other enough. The structure that we used with our pilot team for the past two years was basically when assignments were posted, I, I would take them and, and organize them so it was just an easier read, um, so that it was a quick go-to document and they knew clearly what needed to be done. Um, and then we made hard copies. Um, and then there was a system of deadlines, so we were very structured, so they knew internally when a time to post was so that we could work and provide feedback, and then they knew when a time was to post to the community. We also met monthly, and we would, usually it was timed around an assignment so we could sit and watch a module together and digest it. I also think from a logistical standpoint, giving them time as a team to be together, to talk. I think they've gleaned so much from each other and what they've tried and what's worked and maybe what hasn't worked that needs to be tweaked. So I think that support, that built-in support for teachers is important.